Hi everybody, um, this is Mark Cattini. This is uh, my monthly or so uh, video blog. Um, the last blog, which was, was my first blog, I talked about the Awareness Social Marketing Hub. Um, and just to remind you what that, that is, it's uh, an innovative software solution that we've recently developed to allow major brands to publish, manage, and measure uh, content out to multiple social networks. And uh, we're very, very excited. Um, about the way in which that product has initially been received. Um, this time, I'd like to talk to you about something completely different. I'd like to talk to you about a, a band, a rock band called the Museum Guards. And I'm not sure if you're familiar with them. I'm, I think you're at some point going to be. And uh, they happen to be my favorite band. And just by coincidence, uh, my son John, he sings, he plays guitar, and uh, he writes the songs in that band. And, um, and they're actually very good, and they've had a lot of success. And they're playing some pretty major venues, and uh, it's a big passion of mine. And uh, but what's sort of really interesting is, you know, how do fourteen-year-olds and fifteen-year-olds promote themselves? Well, I think about when I was fourteen, fifteen-year-old. I was playing around in bands and stuff. What did I do? I just kind of told my friends, and and that was about it. Um, what do they do? Well, of course, they use social networks. They didn't, they didn't hesitate to use social networks. You can check out their Facebook fan page. Um, the Museum Guards, you can look at uh, MySpace, the Museum Guards, and they've actually created a dialogue um, with their fans and followers uh, that people participate in. They constantly load content, um, you know, they're talking about their influences, when their next gigs are, any competitions they're part of, when they're recording, um, and so on and so forth. Um, and they have, uh, you know, hundreds of friends at this point, for really from scratch and from really very little effort. Um, but what they have is a fairly uh, loyal fan base um, with uh, very little effort. In fact, it costs them nothing other than their time that, they, that, that they're engaging in. And, you know, I sort of sit there and think, well, um, that's pretty obvious uh, that they would do that. Um, but it's incredibly effective. And, uh, and that's really, you know, what we're involved in. We're involved in a whole new world of sort of social networks. And just it's understood that's how we're going to contact um, you know, people that we're interested in that and, and contacting us and how we're going to create meaningful two-way dialogues rather than just kind of broadcast. Um, so, so that's kind of, uh, I just wanted to sort of share that sort of brief thought, but if you're a major brand, um, this is clearly the way in which people want to receive information. As one famous brand said to us recently, you have to fish where the fish are. And I can tell you as the museum guards with a young group of fans, you know, a lot of those uh, you know, young men and women, you know, spend an awful lot of time in the Facebook, uh, MySpace world, and that's where they expect to be if they want to learn and be part of a community like this. Um, and they're very successful. And the last thing I would do is absolutely encourage you to go check those uh, Facebook fan page out, check uh, MySpace, and uh, go and catch them at a gig because um, I think you'll enjoy them. Anyway, thanks for thanks for listening, and I'll see you in a month or so.